Dear Tim and Moby, How does a camera work? Signed, Jason. <laughs> it's funny you should ask, Jason, because Moby here has become quite the shutterbug lately. <laughs> Enough, Moby. You probably already know what a camera does. It takes pictures. But there are many different kinds of cameras. Instant, automatic, manual, digital, but basically they all have the same job. Cameras focus light onto film so that it can be made into a picture. Well, except for digital cameras, which don't use film, but well, we'll get to that later. All cameras have a lens. A lens is made of round pieces of glass or plastic that work together to focus light. It works like the lens in your eye. When you push the button on your camera, it opens the shutter behind your lens. The shutter is a little sliding door that opens and closes really quickly. In the various film cameras, the open shutter exposes film to light coming through the lens. Film is essentially a thin plastic coated with emulsion, a special gelatin made of crystallized silver halides and other light-sensitive materials. When light hits that emulsion, it causes a chemical change in the silver halide crystals. They break down into dark specks of free silver. The more light you let in, the darker the emulsion gets. Well, an object has to reflect light to show up on film. That's why pictures taken at night without a flash don't usually come out too well. Let's take a look at Moby for a second. All of his parts don't reflect the same amount of light. This bright spot will reflect the most light and cause more emulsion to be darkened. And that shadow behind him will reflect very little light, so the emotion in that spot won't react as much. What you're left with is a negative image, a picture where everything's reversed. All the dark parts are light, and all the light parts are dark. To make a picture from your film, you shine light through the negative image onto paper coated with the same type of emulsion as your film. The negative piece of film produces a positive image on paper. But we use black and white film, Moby. That's, that's why you look gray. Color film uses three different kinds of emulsion, one for red, one for blue, and one for green. Those are the three primary colors of light. See the color movie to find out more. Well, you're right. These days, film-based cameras aren't that popular. They've been replaced by sleeker digital cameras, which capture and store pictures in the form of digital data. Instead of hitting film, light coming through a digital camera's lens is captured by an image sensor called a charge-coupled device, or CCD. CCDs basically convert light into an electrical signal. They're made up of millions of light receptors called pixels. Each pixel records the brightness of the light hitting it as a number. Some CCDs have pixels that can tell what color light is hitting them. But most digital cameras detect color using red, green, and blue filters, which are basically pieces of colored glass or plastic. Each filter only allows light of its own color through to the image sensor. Software inside the camera converts all of that information about light intensity and color into a full color image. The image can be viewed right away on the camera's electronic view screen, saved as a file on a removable memory card, or even transferred directly to your computer. No film required. All right, these photos are of my grandparents, so be nice. Hey! Whoa! Ah! Never easy with you, is it?